Welcome back to the ZOS introduction. This is the eighth video in the series. The objective of this video is for you to have a better understanding of the ISPF editor. The ISPF editor is a function-rich text editor that can take time to acquire many of the very powerful editing techniques. The basics of using the ISPF editor are one, primary edit commands, and two, line commands. The ISPF editor modifies the text lines with primary commands entered on the command line and entering line commands by overtyping the line numbers to the left of the text lines. In fact, a combination of primary and line commands can be typed. Then enter results in the execution of all primary and line commands previously typed. Simple examples will be shown during this video. This chart describes the functions available by the ISPF editor primary and line commands. The bulleted primary and line command functions can be executed simultaneously, resulting in some very powerful techniques. Once you learn to use the ISPF editor, you will find that you will be continuously learning some of the techniques over time. The best explanation of using the ISPF editor is a simple and visible example. The next several charts We'll read each line by saying the number, then reading the text to the left of the number. There are numerous ways to edit a ZOS dataset or Unix file. In the chart shown, E is entered to the left of the dataset name from the dataset list utility panel to begin an edit session. When a dataset name is empty, an edit session would appear as shown in the chart. The six display screen areas shown on the previous page are 1. The title area identifies the name of the dataset and member or the ZOX Unix file. 2. Columns messages area. Short error messages or information messages are displayed in this area overlaying the column information. 3. The command area where primary commands such as find are entered. Four. The scroll amount area, where the scrolling amount is displayed. You can change the amount by overtyping the amount field. CSR, cursor, is the shown scroll amount. Cursor is a very useful scroll amount because up, down, left, and right actions are relative to the cursor position on the screen. 5. Line command fields area normally shows the sequence number for each line. Each field is six columns wide. Line commands such as R for repeat are typed in these fields overlaying the sequence numbers. 6. Data fields area where the data is displayed. Each field extends to the full width of the display. To change data, simply overtype it. Data was typed into the empty area as shown on the chart. To begin typing data on a new line, the cursor was positioned at the beginning of the line. After the data was typed onto each line shown, then Enter will send the screen content to be processed. The result of Enter returns line numbers to the left of each data line typed as shown. A reset primary command is entered on the primary command input area as shown. The result of the reset primary command is a screen returned that removed the ISPF messages. A profile primary command is entered on the primary command input line area as shown in the chart. The result of the profile primary command is a screen returned ISPF edit session behavior settings that can each be modified with a primary command. A reset command removes the profile settings messages area. The edit session shown includes three separate changes. One, change all references to lowercase i to lowercase u. Two, the first data line number was overtyped with R2 to replicate this line two times. Three, the second data line number was overtyped with D to delete this line. Enter following the three typed primary and line command changes resulted in the changes on the screen shown to the right of the yellow box with the number two is equal equal change 
indicating that this line was changed as a result of the primary command to change all occurrences of lowercase i to lowercase u. Pressing F3 or entering the save command and the end command would save the changes and exit the ISPF edit session. Observe the data set saved message in the upper right section of the screen shown. While in an ISPF edit session, F1 or the help command will display the online edit tutorial as shown. While in an ISPF edit session, F1 or the help command is recommended when attempting an edit function. The result would be the edit tutorial information about the specific edit function being attempted. From the main ISPF edit tutorial display, selections exist to learn about the available line commands and primary commands. Examples of using the line commands and primary commands are available by selecting a desired tutorial topic. In addition to the ISPF online help and topics tutorial, an ISPF bookshelf is available from the web-based ZOS Internet Library to advance your ISPF editor knowledge and skill level. Take the time to review the ZOS ISPF edit and edit macros documentation. Easy to follow examples and explanations exist in this document. Specifically, look at part three, the command reference in the document. In summary, the ISPF editor is function rich. Online help and ISPF edit manuals from the ZOS Internet Library ISPF bookshelf is available to advance your ISPF editor knowledge and skill level. Thank you for your time.